Records are an important kind of value in many languages. What a record does is combine several pieces of data into one structure, and each piece has its own name. In our case, each piece will also have a type. Records are also known as dictionaries and maps, and you might see them implemented as hash tables or objects. And on this slide here, we've got an example using JavaScript objects. So we declare an object named O with fields X and Y. And when we do O.X, we access the value of the field X inside the object O, and that gives us back the value 1. And similarly, O.Y gives us back 2. So another thing that you can do with JavaScript objects is update the field inside of a record. So here we've got o.x, and we set that value to 5. Now the next time we read o.x, we get the result 5 back instead of the original value 1. This is what's called an imperative update. We've changed what's inside of the record, and you can think of this as a generalization of boxes to handle multiple fields. Now there's a second way to do updates without any state, and this is called a functional record update. So here we start with our record o, and we make a new record p. We get record p by doing a functional update, changing the field o.x to now equal to 5. So this keeps the original record O the same as it was, and it makes a new one where the value of the X field has been changed. So when we access O.X down below, we get the value 1. That's the original value. But when we access P.X, it has the new value 5. And P.Y is the same as before. So this is a functional update, and we'll implement this first for Mo, but we'll eventually get to imperative update too. Here's the syntax that we'll use for records in Mo. So just like the JavaScript notation, a record starts off with a curly brace, then we have a field name, a colon, and a value expression, and we can have any number of key value pairs inside of the curly braces for the record. If we create a record and give it the name O, then we can access a field using the notation O.X. So again, this is just like JavaScript. To update a field, we use this with notation. So O with X equals 5 updates the value of X and creates a new record uh, based on O. And as a bigger example of functional upkeep, first we have a record R1 with A and B fields, then we create R2 by updating the A field inside R1. And now if we add the A fields together from R1 and R2, we get back the number seven, that's five plus. To sum up, object with field equals expression creates a new record with a new field value, and that's our functional update.